Uh, what up, my dudes? I'm doing today with the channel to leave vlogs. Welcome, welcome, and welcome. Sorry, my dudes, it's been far too long, far too long, way too long for a video update with the Miata. But we're back at it. We're back building this bad boy up piece by piece, little by little. What we're doing. So, right now, I'm having a problem with the Miata. It is the radiator. Well, I don't think it's the radiator itself or the coolant. It's probably just this doohickey right here, which is just a thermostat that's making my car overheat. It's not. It's not doing the flush of the coolant to make it cold when the engine is hot. So basically it's just this. However, since I'm gonna be changing that, I was like, you know what, let's just change the whole radiator because I'm gonna be putting more power into this in the future wise. So I need a stronger radiator to cool down. So I want to get this one, the Mishimoto radiator, my dudes, is still in the box. I haven't opened it up at all. That's gonna be down the link below, my dudes. The thermostat, uh, it's not gonna be in the link down below. I just got that on AutoZone. Anyways, this is going to be down below, and we're going to change it. So we're going to change this right here. This whole thing right here, my dudes, we're going to change. These fans, I believe we can still use these stock fans for it, but I won't know until we actually dive into it. But first things first, got to take all the coolant off, just like how you do like an oil change. you got to flush all the fluids out. If not, you're going to have a big old mess. Either way, we're going to have a mess because you got to clamp off all of these hoses. So that's what we got this. That's what we got coolant. So you can put some new, brand new coolant into it. Hopefully that solves our issue. So first things first, let's open up this box so you can see how it looks. This is it, my dudes. I just opened up the radiator. Uh, this is for recycling purposes. Please recycle. I guess this is their cushion. Oh, ho, ho, that's so beautiful. Look at that. That's nice. Nice and chrome. Ugly and black. Nice and chrome. Whoa. I got my pops here. He's right there. He's making some rags. Old shirts, whatever you use, cut them. They use those rags, save money, think smart. Whoa, hopefully these all have the same, they should have all the same hose clamps, like the diameter of it, I'm guessing they should be. But, oh, this is nice. I'm not gonna take it out completely yet until we get to that part, cause I wanna have a big mess in my little tiny work area. But that is nice. Okay, before everyone starts taking off the hoses and stuff like that, do not do that, nope. First we gotta drain it, like I said. So we gotta go under the car. That's why I have the car jacked up. So under the car, there is a drain plug. This one right here, my dudes, just like an oil. You just unscrew it and all the fluid should come out. So that should be perfect. We also have holes down here. We gotta take off the hose. So remember when doing this, don't do it when the engine's hot. Wait until the engine cools down completely, my dudes. You wanna burn yourself because this liquid's hot. So there it goes, it's draining. And also take off the plug from the top. That's why it could get the airflow pressure so it can come out faster than just getting one drop at a time. This is really bad, this radiator, because you don't want to have this stuff in your radiator at all. So it's a good thing that I am replacing it instead of just doing a thermostat. So this is kind of like a win because that is brown. Let me get to take off all the hoses. We got this hose. Got a hose down there. And then I gotta see what else is there. Then we just take off these and pop out the radiator. And this one right here too, this hole right here that connects to the coolant um, reservoir. Damn, hopefully that's enough. That's all the pan I got. Oh, it's an overfill. Don't overfill. All right, once is that done, I'll start taking off these clamps. Take off these clamps, pliers, squeeze. Take them off all the way over here. And if you have to, since it's and courageous over time, screwdriver inside and just wiggle it for some room. They gotta take off these two. And then, yeah, so the hoses might have some liquid. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Okay, so once we took off all the hoses, we're gonna take off the radiator now. So look like we got a bolt here. And then we got a bolt here holding it down. This is holding it down. Uh, these right here are for the fans. I'll probably take those off when I'm out, when I have the radio out. And then from down below, I don't know until I start playing with it. So let's start taking off these. So I already removed these, the tabs that were holding it in place, that one, and this one on top. But the tricky part is down here in this bottom one that I couldn't get, but I thought I could get once I took off the radiator. So this one is not a clamp. This one is a screw with the screw with the, screw, with the boy tied it up. But I cannot get the screw because my screwdriver can't reach up here because I get blocked up here. It's hard to explain, but it looks like the best thing to do is take off the fans and then to have extra room to get to this. I don't know why this is 
how they did this. Or this should have been pointed down where the screw should be pointing down instead of upward. So this is what I'm struggling with right now. And I'll figure it out. So to take off that awkward screw bolt, um, it was exactly like this one. Except this was facing upwards. I don't know why it should have been facing downwards since I was already down there. The only reason I can take it off if I took off the fan. So I did take off the fan, sort of, kind of. Like some hot wire stuff was going on in here. I don't even think this is professionally done. But anyways, it works. So I took it off. So you guys can see that. That's what I'm talking about. That bolt should have been faced the other way down. It'd be way easier to get off. But either way, we got it off. Now I'm going to pop off the radiator and just see what else we got to do and put the bad boy in the new one. Just like that, my dudes, the radiator is out. This is by damage from rocks, pebbles, chips, small things like that that come after and hit it over time. So that's normal. That's why we have this little fence guard here, but whatever comes in, comes in. That's the old one of my dudes. Boom, we got the new Mishimoto radiator and even give us the top for it oh that's nice if that does not work if it leaks i have the old one so i'm not really concerned about that but look at the m design that has right there right in front of it people can see that i'm running this <laughs> the, i do have this that goes in the bottom this goes in the top it looks all good it has these right here in the front that's where the hose go to connect to this one perfect i think this is it this right here i'm guessing it's for the fans that the fans connect right here Right, more or less, yeah. I believe so. So I guess the I, I'm hoping that the stock fans will work on this. They should. So compare that to this. So this is thin wise. It's not that good. You see how thin it is. Um, this is more thicker, so more airflow can travel in and it cools the engine way better. So I'm in love with this. I, I'm actually liking this. And this chrome's gonna pop out even more once we clean up all this entry bay in the future wise, but it looks nice. I got my dad here because so he's gonna help me install it because I want to scratch it or damage it and hopefully it just goes down flush in. The only my concern is oh is it like a little cut here. So I'm hoping that doesn't interfere with the AC lines right there. But I think it'll be alright. We won't know until we try it out. So we're gonna try it out. Alright dudes let me see what's going on. We finally got it. We got the thermostat right here the new one we took it off, might as well to, fit, to have more place to play with. We took off the airflow right here, so we have more place to play with. Um, the stock fans do work. However, the only issue is that on this fan right here, when we went down with my finger uh, right here, I did a line. We have to cut all this plastic piece off because I'm guessing these lines right here or holding it down and won't let it sit so it's kind of like up and this side's down so we got to make like a little arch for it to cut through that's my dad's getting the grinder out and besides that it's working so far so good everything's fitting in perfectly all these bolts line up correctly on this side um just on um, just just this right here is messing this up. This one is more clean than this that one but that one is for a standard that was for a lot of money so so my dad's saying that the only reason why we have to do all this cut because this is way thicker than this so this is like way thinner you guys can see so the fans can push in more and have more space compared to this bad boy which is way wider that we're limited to space so that's what we got to cut just for it to sync perfectly with those lines all right my dude so the stock fans did work we just gotta take off all this to have space like i said previously but they do fit they all fit they all flush in perfectly they have the gap there so you guys can see they're not touching the the radiator what's what not the only thing we had to do was cut that plastic piece i'm gonna get under here and show you guys what i mean so you guys can get a better definition so th these right here are the pins that go in that pin goes in and then that pin but right here where we had to cut because of these lines oh i know it's hard to see my dudes i have no light but these lines right here is the reason why we had to cut So, let me see if I can show you guys up here better, which I doubt it, but you can see. Oh, yes. So, those two lines right there is the one that we had to cut. You guys can see the cut right there that we did for it to fit. And besides that, it works, and it looks really good that's chromed. So, <laughs> it's getting there. Before you tie up everything down, we forgot something. So right here in the old one, 
You see how it's naked? There are rubber boots right there. The bottom, it goes in the top. They look like that. We just pop them out and we're gonna put them on top of right here, like so. So we gotta do that in the bottom as well because I forgot to put in the bottom. The reason why is because when you put the metal bracket or the metal plate, uh, it's too loose. Even though you tie it down like this, it's gonna pop up like this and it's still too loose. So that's why this rubber fills in the gap. So we gotta do that from the bottom as well. We got everything installed. We got the hoses, we got the metal clamps. This is secure, this is done. All I just need is radiator fluid and we're good to go. But the only thing we're doing right now is doing the thermostat. My dad's putting some silicone because they didn't give us uh, a seal or a gasket or anything like that. So that goes right here. And we gotta put the last hose, which is on the floor over there. And then we gotta put this back on and that's it, my dudes. We're just giving a little a cycle through. Turn it off, put some more if needed, just the same thing like oil, and that's it. I mean, it was pretty, it was pretty, it's easy to install. It was just that difficult was to cut that plastic, take everything off. But my dad was right when he came over to help me. He was like, you know what, just take all this off, make it easier for yourself, have more room to play with, which does take more time, but it saves more time and less hassle, more struggles just in doing all this. So it checks out to be okay, and then we'll test drive. From Mishimoto, they gave us a booklet right there. They gave us another booklet and they gave us this cute little cute little penguin so i'll probably just have it up on the miata that'd be pretty cool just have it floating down that's pretty cool then did everything tighten up everything everything nice and clean i took off this i hose it down with some with the hose something better than nothing next the final step is putting coolant in coolant is very important to make sure you get the right coolant don't get the universal coolant get the coolant that's recommended for the car if you guys don't know how is that works on every coolant it tells you what it's recommended for so mine is a 1999 mazda miata you look for mazda, mazda 1990 and up there's mercedes there's subaru there's um conde infinity kia just for that type of year and for coolant this is very important if you own a German car. BMWs are delicate to it. Audis are delicate to it. And that also goes with oil. Make sure you get the Pacific oil. If it says full synthetic, you get full synthetic. You don't get that other cheap brand. No, you get, you get what it recommends because those engines are very delicate. And the same thing with any car, basically, just make sure you get the right stuff. What you pay, no, you get for what you pay for and you want your car to be healthy. In the long run, you pay a lot this time than paying more in the next year or two when your car blows up. That makes sense. So, I bought two of them. We don't need two of them, but that one was like half used because I, I had it. So, this is just a full brand new one. So, hopefully, this should fill up the whole radiator. I don't know if this carries or holds more coolant. You think so? No, huh? Should be the same? Yeah, a little bit more. Probably just a little bit more. And then make sure you guys always fill up your reservoir with coolant. I always not, I always don't pull in the full, what it says. I always put it in the middle. Always, I always put it in the middle. I don't want to have it too full. So that's just me. And that's it. And then we just, and then after this, we just turn it on. We'll let it do a cycle through. That means we just let the engine warm up. And then hopefully the thermostat will push in and kick out the old, the, the cold. And bring in the new, the hot, the fresh. Hot, you know what I'm talking about. Engines are amazing if you think about it, how science work behind all this stuff. I like it. We have the car running right now. We have it cycling through. We have the heater on right now. So you can just cycle through and I have a check engine light in my car. Okay, that's new. Hopefully that's not bad from doing this. But we're just waiting for it to do a little flush through to add some more coolant. So far we wasted one full one, one half one, and we're on to the next one. Because I had that half one in my car, in my trunk. We're giving RPMs right now. Uh, we have the heater on full blast right now. The temperature is halfway right now. And we're just watching it go. The fan's looking good. Everything seems to be plugged in right correctly. I check engine lights on. I don't know why. Probably because we unplugged all the air sensors. Probably got the next start up. We'll probably read it. Or we'll probably turn off over time. But this is it, my dudes. Mishimoto. So far, so good. The only bad thing that I heard about it from the reviews is that this tap, the cap, it's actually like, it, it, the cap gushes out over time, I heard, so I have my old one stayed with me, but besides that, it's just be okay. Temperature is halfway, 
You guys can see that in there. So yeah, we're now we're just wait. We got the little cycle through. All right, my dude, this is the end of the vlog. I went for a test drive, the car cooled down, I popped the hood, and I just put a little bit more, but not that much. It took one half, a full one, and a little bit. So I'm guessing buy two of them, if you guys wanna do this swap for coolant, so two of them will be a good. And that's it, my dudes, the Miata's coming back together little by little, engine first, like always, and then we'll do that inside and then we do the outside will be last with rims tires body kits paint job and all that the truck is still going up there my dudes we're getting little by little what things i want to do next to it i want to put a sound system in there now i need some new rims and tires and i think the truck will be set just like that there's expensive stuff and then miata expensive stuff all that cheap small stuff is no longer we're using we're just using big expensive stuff that's what i'm trying to save up money and then i bring you guys contact like that mission motor was kind of was pretty good it was like 226 i believe so it is, is, it, is it a good price range to do that update for the radiator so i'll see you guys in the next one so peace out